Hello, my friend, and welcome to days number 54 and 55 of our 66 days of data with Nime life challenge. Today, we are going to build interactivity into our dashboards. And we do this without using one single line of code, just using our trusted Nime workflows. So very quick announcement, and you have seen me telling you that before. This week's or next weekend or the over next weekend, um, no, let's start again. I will be at the Nine Fold Summer 2022, um, happening from November 14th until November 16th, and we will be streaming live. So if you have a chance to go there, just make so sure you step by and say hello. And just to put these announcements aside, that's it already. Let me just quickly show you what we are going to build today. So we are basically here on our trusted blog post, data exploration in 66 days, of data with nine and we're going to end part nine plots and charts control so we have day 54 and day 55 and what we're going to build is in day 54 we're using the top k artist extracted from the time window selection used in the first component investigate the usage of the interactive range slider filter widget node in conjunction with the scatter plot or the stacked area chart node Build a component with a scatter plot or stacked area chart and control the number of points via the interactive range slider filter widget node. For example, by controlling the size of the year interval. Alternatively, and that's what we are going to do, use the data table created with the stratified sampling in section 7 to build a component with an interactive multivariate scatter plot and table view in conjunction with the interactive range slider filter widget node to control the year interval and that is what we're going to do for day 54 so let me just quickly switch over to nine so this is what we basically built yesterday we um created um we looked at uh, widgets these nice little things here that drive where you can input years and so on and today we are going to work with the sample the stratified sample if you remember that is 3000 rows and let me just show you how it looks what we're going to build today so execute and open views so we have our stratified sample here and what we basically want to do we want to limit the number of points that we see here it's tempo versus energy for each single song by just saying okay let's just have a look at the 2000s so we limit it by going here so you see through this interactive range slider we basically adjusted the number of points in our scatter plot and let me just quickly show you how you can build something like this so right click and control component open and this opens up basically the component um, sub workflow and first of all we apply a color manager we have done this before because we want to assign the red yellow and green colors to um, our uh, to to our um, low medium high um, popularity uh, songs and then we create an interactive range slider filter widget and that comes directly before the scatter plot and this one controls the scatter plot so if you just look here let's just quickly label this control the year range plot year versus no not year plot tempo versus energy for the songs from this sample all right let's bold this because these are both attributes of our data set and if we just look at the interactive range slider filter widget here we have quite a few options but basically what we do is we um, just say, okay, which is the column we want to control with our slider? 
And in our case, it's the year. And I also use the default minimum and maximum values, which come from the domain extent. And that basically means it's the lower, the lower and the upper threshold of our data set. So the lowest year, or the, the, the um, most historic year is 1900, and the most recent year is 2021. And hence, it takes it from the data set. And that's already it. There is nothing more to it. You just save it, and now you have that interactive component in your dashboard where you can basically control. Also look over here. If you just limit this, you only have a few data points. Look only, let's just see, that's interesting. We only see unpopular songs here. If you look at the oldest songs, unpopular. If you remember that this data set is from Spotify, that might make sense, right? Spotify maybe also is a little bit more to the younger people and probably younger people don't like old music that much, all right? So let's just see. There come a few yellows, a few greens. Let's just see if we do it exactly the other way around. We have more greens. We have at least more yellows than reds. So that is quite interesting in regards to data analysis. And NIME, once again, offers us the opportunity to do this completely for free. All right. Let's have a look at the second task. The second task for day 55 is investigate the usage of the refresh button widget node. After the component that uses widget nodes to select the time window, for example, 1970 to 1980, and extracts the top K artists, build a dashboard with the widget-based framework to select the top K artist a stacked area chart, a line plot, a bar chart, and a refresh button. With all due respect, dear Nimers, but that task is nonsense from my point of view. Because after the component with the top K artists built a dashboard, uh, built something with the top K artists, well, I have selected them already. So I did it slightly different. Um, but nevertheless, I guess the, the task is nevertheless fulfilled. So let me show you what we did in day number... 55. All right, let's just go here. We build the dashboard here. Let's just execute and open the views. Oh, why does that not work? Where is the problem right now? Uh, where's the problem right now? That is completely nonsense because it has been working before. Obviously, I change something here. What is the problem here? We have here eight. We have basically 10 artists because we're selecting 10 artists here. Here we still have 10 artists. All right, and let's just see. I don't know where the stupid problem is, dear and I'm. I have a completely valid data set, so where is your goddamn problem? Execute fade frequency column filter, include list empty. Select at least one frequency column. There is nothing empty, guys. That's complete nonsense what you're telling me here. The list is not empty. Yeah, that's the trouble of a live stream. Sometimes shit like this happens and I can't get it to work. Um, quite honestly, I don't know what that tool is telling me right now. It tells me the list is empty, although data comes in from here. It shouldn't be empty. I'm not sure why it's running into problems. Um, quite honestly, that's a completely stupid and completely nonsensical um, message here. What can I say? I can't solve it. Um, yeah, basically, nevertheless, for me, it has been working in the past. So the workflows are nevertheless uploaded to the NIME Hub. So if you just go to the NIME Hub and just click here, you will find these two workflows. You can play around with them yourself if you want to. 
sometimes shit like this just happens and uh, no i'm not going to excuse for my swear words because that is just shit if things happen at one time i expect them to work every time if i have not changed anything um so um yeah basically what i will uh, you can have a look yourself i will see you tomorrow when we cover days 56 and 57 so see you tomorrow take care and bye bye